welcome back um, it's been past couple of days I have not posted an update on this but I've been doing a lot of work offline and just want to give a quick update so what I've done so far I've been wiring up and soldering LEDs for what feels like the past three days and basically trying to light up the rig right every light bucket every uh, every light bucket basically uh, that makes sense to be lit up I just thought I put an LED in it so this is what it looks like uh, the wiring is a mess nothing is buttoned up yet everything is just uh, held together friction by now uh, friction for now uh, because I want to weather everything before I start putting everything back together um, the other thing that you can see maybe is I have took out the windscreen and I have started painted some of these parts black right so some of these window frame parts the front windscreen uh, arm as well the A pillar B pillar and C pillar uh, I've touched up with some black color basically just run a sharpie over it uh, I've, I've also panel lined the body uh, I still need to clean up some of this and uh, I just wanted to make it as close to a replica I mean as close to a real discovery as possible I think the lights really help lighting it up you know really helps and this is going to look so nice when it goes out on trail uh, I also did some uh, lining on the wheels and left it dirty because I'm just gonna add more add more weathering to it uh, I've also got the weathering set this is weathering set and uh, I've, I'm new to weathering I've not done this before so this is going to be a good trial and experiment for me so we'll see how it goes I'll update it in the video uh, just to quickly share right if you guys want to light up your rig or maybe share I'll share how I did it but right now it's in a mess I'll probably what I want to do is to do some cable management and then I can show you guys right so let me cut off and manage some of this and then I'll come back and show you guys what I've done and how I do it I'll maybe give you guys some tips as well okay all right welcome back um, so I wanted to give a quick update on the lighting system like how how I'm doing it right so first of all the only lights that come from the factory are the headlamps right so the headlamps again you can see that it's it's more visible now because I've painted the inside just make it stand out a little bit more so there's only two of these headlamps that are being uh, wired up by the factory and if you go under the body you can see that the harness is this black cable right so this black cable you will be it will be very easy to identify this black cable when you first get your truck because there's there's only one cable there now this cable actually plugs into the ESC with one of these sockets right so what I did was I wanted the headlamps and the tail lamps to come on together when I turn on the lights right so when we press the bind button it should turn on the lights I would like the headlamps and the tail lamps to uh, light up together so how do I do this is I can we can actually use the original harness uh, but you need to take note that the receiver for the uh, headlamps is located at the joint right so where the two cables meet there's a joint here you can see the uh, where it's wrapped by the 
uh, wire wrap this is where the L, uh, the resistor is being housed so you can actually cut the wire anywhere after the receiver anywhere after the receiver and just wire your tail lamps your tail lamps need to be on receivers as well Bef uh, resistors sorry resistors what I mean is not receivers on resistors right so this is a resistor for the headlamp um, before you wire it into your tail lamps you need another resistor to go for go to the red LEDs right so the other thing I wanted to do after that is to light up everything else. Now I didn't want all the lights to be controlled by the same bind button. I wanted some flexibility. So what I did was to buy one of these light switch. Uh, you can get this from uh, AliExpress or anywhere else. So this actually connects to the three position switch where it shares the uh, three position uh, tra channel three with the shift servo right so i can control this with the channel three button right so i can turn it on and off using the channel three and i'll be i basically connect the lights all of the other lights to this channel three right how i do that is to wire to create a crazy harness i'm not sure whether you can see this so this is the harness that i've uh, built so this end actually goes into the light switch and then there is three uh, other receiving ends so these three receiving ends go into the three separate modules uh, what I did was to have the front bumper so the front bumper is a is a module consider it as a separate module on its own so it has its own wiring as you can see uh, in this fog lamp you can see four tiny SMDs so there's four tiny LEDs inside here one two three four and uh, I've painted the inside of the fog lamp silver as well just to make it more realistic originally it comes in black and it doesn't stand out that much I would uh, recommend that you paint it so that it looks more realistic so this fog lamp now stands out a lot more it looks more realistic because the lens are clear lens and it's similar to the headlamps as well the headlamps are originally black in color if you paint the insides it just look more realistic as you can see okay so these are SMDs tiny tiny SMDs uh, four of it and this is warm white color and this is on a separate module on its own before you wire the LEDs you need to go through a resistor as well so you need a resistor here before you go to the LEDs the next module would be the back this is the back bumper and it has all these tiny uh, tiny light buckets as well uh, this is not actually light buckets these are actually just cosmetic pieces that are pushed into place they are, there's no glue here they're just pinned into place what I did is to pop them out drill a hole uh, for the SMDs to go through and then pop it back in so there is one two three four four red SMDs here four red SMDs on this uh, rare bumper and again it's on a separate module it has a separate wiring wiring uh, cable and then lastly is the roof rack the roof rack is going to house uh, four 3mm LEDs Okay, they, they, they fit snugly inside. You can actually push it in place and it has the it has the holder for the three mm uh, LEDs. You can push them in and it will click in place and it will stay in place. Uh, this is uh, on a separate module as well. Again, on its own resistor before going to the LEDs. So all of these three will then be plugged into these 
this harness here with these three uh, receptors, right? Receptacling pots, and that will give the truck the lighting that you see. Okay. So again, I'm not gonna button everything up. I might remove the lights again because I want to weather the truck. Right now, uh, it, I think it's look it looks very nice. Uh, off. I've added more detail here and there and uh, I just can't wait for it to finish and see everything. I would like for the stickers to be actually actual water decals. Apparently it is not so that's a bit of a shame. It would be nicer if it was. So it's not very realistic. You can tell that it's a sticker. Uh, it would be better if it was again water slide. I could print it out but that's, that's going to be more work which I'm not looking forward to so I'll just leave it as it is okay so I do I, I do light up the side indicators as well the front indicators I just think it looks a lot nicer with the with the side indicators turned on at night uh, not blinking though I do not have signal lights because no one uses their signals in the, when they're crawling, right? So I ditched the signals or I didn't put in any signals. I just put in uh, permanent lights, okay? I will continue to update again with the progress uh, as I go, all right? Thank you. All right, so this is everything pinned back together. Again, all the wiring is done. Uh, did the cable management all on the inside so nothing is sticking out and here just want to quickly take a quick shot and just showcase what it looks like before weathering and after this is going to be weathered so it's not going to look clean again so what I did before weathering you can see is put in some panel line uh, did some panel lining on the wheels but I just didn't clean up the wash right so these are some panel lines as well take note some of this lining here uh, especially this part in the bottom it's not deep enough so you actually have to go in and deepen the grooves for the line to be uh, more visible I don't like the stickers I don't like that these are stickers but uh, it is what it is um, you can see some wiring here for the fog lamps. Um, the back wheel as well. Again, I've did some masking. I've not screwed the tire in. I've did some masking because I need to weather it and then I peel it off. Um, what else? So yeah, just taking a quick look. I've added some decals as well, the Singapore Airlines decals just to mimic the, the give it a bit more realism. So there should be a country in the front and then the name of the drivers or something. But I don't have my names in decals so it is what it is. I would like to have a Malaysian flag but Malaysian flag is very similar to the US flag so this is the closest I can find again but it's not very detailed anyway you can or maybe it is if you look closely you can maybe resemble you know the American flag or something but yeah I won't be adding any more license plates uh, there's already one there but I do not know if that's actual license plate or just a camo trophy plate I'm not sure uh, this bottom piece here in grey is supposed to be a skid plate but uh, it's not designed very well so I just painted it silver there should be a skid plate in the front as well and the original one doesn't have this bumper I tried removing this bumper it makes it look a bit weird it looks very high up without the bumper so I need to kind of reference Google a bit more. I don't know. So then I will tie the strings, the 
fishing line thing at the end after it's being weathered and being painted so again just want to have a quick look before the weathering and then after the weathering so i'll showcase again i'll check back again when it's done okay bye guys welcome back so I finally managed to finish the wiring uh, put everything together and also weather it a little bit uh, this is my first time actually weathering a model um, everything is brand new right so I've bought a bunch of uh, weathering uh, sets <laughs> all brand new actually using this for the first time and I do not know what to buy uh, the only I mean for this project right I thought looking at all of this I thought I'll be using a lot of the mud dirt and so on but I don't think I've used A and B right I've used actually most of it is orange rust orange rust orange uh, rust red and some burn red so these three colors uh, i've used the most to kind of weather it uh, weather my truck and i do not know how well it's it turns out uh, i think it can be better again this is my first try i've not done this before 
when I was weathering it, uh, it's definitely more intense. But when I start spraying the clear coat on it, it, it brings the intensity down, right? So um, I remember when I was weathering it, this whole black strip was very orangey and very kind of muddy looking. And when I add on the clear coat, everything, you know, just tones down, like it, it, it kind of, I don't know, maybe it just bells in or gels in it or the spray paint just dilutes the color or blows the the weathering powder away so it, it it reduces the weather i don't know how to explain this but uh it's now slightly weathered or it looks slightly weathered it's not heavily weathered which i like uh this is what this is the look that i actually wanted um so maybe i just go through some of the couple of things i've done so obviously you can see the panel lines right panel lines uh the a b c pa uh, pillars and all the the all the joints around the windows even the top window uh i have colored it black right i've add additional black color to it because these were orange when we first get them and I'm googling pictures and most of the Camel Trophy discovery trucks have black uh, A, B and C pillars so I've painted all of this black and I think it looks very nice I've even went as far as to paint the the, the front windshield bits black as well which again looks true to the original uh, one to one scale uh, Yep, and you can see I finally add on the the uh, metal strips as well. These things are really cool. How I do this is I've just use a shrink wrap, shrink uh, wire shrink wrap, and just bend the cord and then shrink wrap it on both ends. I think it gives just the tad bit of additional scale look. So you can see the front. Right now it looks kind of rusted. I wanted to give a more muddy and dirty look, but right now it maybe it looks like it's rusted. I don't know. Again, I'm not a pro at weathering, but I think it turns out fine. Uh, the thing that I'm really proud of is I think the windscreen. Again, I, I see this on YouTube all the time. Uh, where the pros will weather it this way where they do the uh, masking for the windscreen and I thought I'd give it a try and I think it turned out really nice look at that so you can see the windscreen is being masked off and you can see the clear bits and the dirty bits I've done the same for the back as well although a majority of it is being covered by the rear wheel but you can still see the clean bits because of the the rear wiper and I think that is such a nice touch okay so lastly I think we just want to talk about the lights again I've, I've shared about this I was wiring it up and uh, showing you guys the process so what I did was if I press the bind so you can see the headlamps the headlamps is turned on that is the normal and you can see the tail lamps are turned on as well maybe if I turn off the lights okay you can see the tail lamp and the headlamp so both of the tail and the headlamp the tail lamps and the headlamps are wired together in the same cable right I talked about this in my my previous bit as well the tail and the headlamps are wired together and then the rest of the lights are connected to channel 3 if I just flick it you can see that it turns on and again I can still shift it to low gear and the lights will still stay on so I still can play around with the gears high and low and I still have additional lights so with this uh, channel 3 I can turn on the roof racks the, the fog lamps for the roof uh, the fog lamps for the front grills and also the side indicator 
lights I think you know it just gives it a very nice look I do not have any signal lights and on the back it it, it might be a bit too much because you have your rare markers rare lights uh, you have all these little uh, uh, rare lights as well I think some of these should be reflectors but I've LE, put in LEDs for all of this so now it, it lights up <laughs> like a Christmas tree on the back and it looks very nice at night when it's dark I'll try and see if I can take a darker picture but in the dark uh, it looks really scale and really nice I like how the front looks and I like how the back looks as well uh, so yeah I think it, it turns out really well uh, the one thing that I think can be better is maybe the, the roof rack the wiring is a bit shorty right <laughs> in in certain sometimes it turns on sometimes it doesn't and you just need to move it a little bit so it's, it's just the, the, the cabling I think or maybe the soldering work is not perfect but that's bound to happen right I, for all my projects I always have something mess up <laughs> eventually but to come this far and have everything working in video I think it's a win uh, I don't know is this weathering too much for you do you think that this is uh, too much weathering or too little weathering um, how would you guys do it differently maybe you can share and let me know if you have any more tips to make it better uh, I am waiting for a driver to come I do want to put in a scale driver because everything else is already scaled I wanted to also paint the inner seats tan in color because the original truck has tan interiors but I think it's fine if I leave it black uh, a lot of the windows are now uh, frosted anyway uh, it, it reduces the visibility but I still want to add a driver inside I think it could be cool um, also I think yeah I don't know I'm a bit nervous to open it up again because I've screwed everything in and everything works now um, I have some scaled roof accessories on the way as well I want to put that in I want to add on a fire extinguisher some bags and so on I do have wheel weights coming uh, it's not official wheel weights for these wheels yet but I want to see if I can just throw them in and then put on the the rubber and I hope that it will just give this a better you know skill look when it's moving around so yeah I, I'm very keen on taking this out if one day uh, if not you know just crawling around the house with such a skill look is so nice to have right and, and I think this on the shelf alone uh, is such a looker uh, even when you're not running this I think just I buy this for the looks right <laughs> and I think it tops out as an indoor crawler it's just amazing amazing this thing performs really really well it has enough room for proper mechanical gearbox the drivetrain everything is done really well by FMS and I think this is a very good package uh, a very good buy the price is okay uh, it's not super expensive. It's not over the board and again if I'm not wrong According to FMS, I think this is the only 124 scale RTR with a dual speed gearbox Yeah So dual speed gearbox Out of the box RTR is amazing Okay uh, Adding the lights just makes it gives it another level of realism and again it's so nice okay uh, if you want to buy this you can get it in a link in the video below it's pre-order right now you can buy them and you can order them and then they will ship later on this is the most scaled 24 scale trucks that FMS comes out right so 
I think it's only fair if we if we just dolly it up a little bit and make it even more scale. That's a no-brainer. Uh, if if I were to nitpick, maybe the decals should come in water slide decals and not stickers. Uh, these stickers just doesn't do it great. If you look it up close, you can see that it's a sticker. It would be better if it was water slide decals. And yeah, but again, that's just nitpicking, right? So even with this package alone, even like this, it's just amazing. It's just a very beautiful truck altogether. Okay. So thank you guys, thank you for watching, uh, I'll see you again in my next video, maybe do some crawling if I get the chance to, alright, thank you, bye bye.